Let me paint a picture for you all to see. Imagine being a young man with dreams and fantasies about who it is you want to be when you grow up and eventually use your creativity to create an image of positivity that will set you free from anyone who dares to disagree. But at the same time, the dreams of being overpowered by your misery. But why would you be miserable if you have such high hopes what it is you want to do? Well, the answer to that question varies on who you ask. Success is a matter of perspective. And as I analyze my introspective, my inner detective detects that my mind has been wrecked and severely affected by the lack of respect of those who think it's acceptable to interject the rejection of my work of inner reflections. I thought we were all supposed to be interconnected, but I guess I was the one y'all seem to have neglected. But I'm not worried because I'm on the path to greatness. I just have a bad sense of direction. I'm the only one who's driving on this lonely road, but it's not just me who's driving. It's like I'm bound, chained to the ground. Nowhere to go, nowhere to get around. Nowhere to let you know how bad I really want what I don't have. But the crazy part is, that's not even a half. But it'd be better if I made a long story short. In short, I'm trying to make these long-term goals short so that shortly I won't be longing for success and come up short. Visions must be vivid with no signs of being distorted. What would you expect from someone who is just as gifted but nowhere near as driven? Listen, those types of people seem to have a limit, can be a tad bit timid. The delivery's there, you just have to pay attention. I'm not here to cause any tension. Just a young man showing me I'm committed and nothing less than bound. Let me cut my restraints and get my feet up off the ground.